Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Tech It tutorial. Today we are going to be doing um, an upgrade from the macerator and the electric furnace. Um, I might do a tutorial on that later if you guys don't know how to do that, but this one's even better, so you might as well just save up your materials and make um, this setup instead. So, this is how you set up a rotary macerator and an induction furnace. So you want to grab low voltage solar arrays, I'm going to grab three of them. Then you put a glass fiber cable down, MFE right here, then an insulated gold cable. Then you want to grab this thing, the LV transformer, right? Yeah. And then from there, you take um, glass fiber. So I'm going to straighten this over here. And that is going to be into my rotary macerator. As you can see, it's powering up. And then you can take it over here and put it into your induction furnace and you can see that's powering up and you might be wondering how you get the heat and the RPM you just put a redstone torch next to it see now the RPM and the heat is going up this one this goes up slowly as you can tell so I'm gonna get some beef here no I'll just show you an example so let's get some ore of some kind how about iron sure iron so for an example of what this does, you can put it in the rotary macerator, and that will um, rotary macerate it. Macer it. That will just macerate it like a normal macerator does. And you get iron dust, and then you take that iron dust, and then you can smelt that. See, it's a lot faster than a regular furnace and an electric furnace. It goes even faster once you get 100% heat. And now it turns into iron ingot ingots. Ingot, ingot. So you can duplicate how many ores you get by doing this. And on my old survival world, I had, I had it like this. But it went from my quarry to here. It was really cool. So thanks for watching, guys. If um, you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Um. So yeah, I will see you later, donut.